Mixed Melody. So for this video, I'm gonna introduce the how to use our Find the Bunny template. And uh, first, let's take a look how this effect works. There are several cups uh, on the table, and uh, when we click the screen, uh, it will trigger the game start. So all the head will start shuffling. And after the shuffling, you need to find which is the, the head that hides your object. So we can take a look here. So now this rabbit is hidden there, and I guess it should be in here. Bingo, I find it, and I win the game. This is how uh, this game works, and now let's take a look how can we customize uh, this template and make your own this type of game. So if you take a look of the how rocky part, I see these are the same object that we set for the heads. And uh, you can customize uh, the head models here. So for example, uh, you can try to uh, build your own head model or use head model to replace it. So I prepared my download from website, a plastic cup, and I'm gonna show you how can we replace the model here. So this is the, my model, and uh, I just needed to drag it underneath the head one edit. And uh, I can probably disable this one. And you see, actually, the cup is showed there. And uh, trying to uh, tweak the transform of it to make sure it's uh, placed on the table and uh, have the, the right direction there. Also, I already used one, this plastic cap to replace the, the uh, first hat, right? And uh, if we click the screen, you see it's already working. So it's pretty easy and simple to uh, replace the, the hat with your own model. And uh, one more thing I wanted to mention, if you wanted to tweak the distance or the position of your original like a hat, try to go to the visual scripting. Uh, so here, like a cup's orange position, this is the parameters to control the start position there. So for example, if I want them to get closer, so I just need to tweak the X uh, position for each head there. And one more cool thing is, if you want it to have like more than three heads, make the game more complicated, try to duplicate it one, and uh, you can add it one item inside this array. And uh, let's try to adjust uh, the position so we can get it more clear. So now you see we already have like uh, four hats on the table and when you tap on the screen, it was still working, but it will make the game more complicated. I think it's still this one. Cool. I win again. So that is for replacing the has part. And uh, second, people might wondering like, how can I replace the, the hidden item? So in here, we are using like really cute rabbit to be this like, hidden object. What if you have like more cute or like fun effects that you wanted to be the hidden one. How did you replace that? It will also be pretty simple. So in here, I'm gonna just use a sphere to replace the rabbit. Probably added a sphere. And uh, what I can do is, so first disable this, make it invisible. And second, let's assign this sphere to this visual scripting hidden object. Let me do it again. So drag this one to this hidden object in visual scripting or you can click this and uh, find it through this open panel. And uh, we can adjust the size of it to make it smaller. So if we tap on the screen, so actually you see it's like a moving with the, it's already working, but you can still see the, the, the sphere, right? So what do we want it to make it lower and uh, hide this object? Is uh, you need to go to this hidden object offset. So this parameter is trying to adjust the uh, relative position, like uh, the, the uh, object relative position to the head. So if we wanted to make it lower, I'm trying to tweak it, make it lower. I think like maybe negative six will be good enough. Let's do, try it again. I think I already know it's in the cap because that is the only different item there. It's kind of like a trick. So I will already show you how to replace the, the head as well as the, the hidden object. And the, that is the main customization part you can do for this template.
And let me introduce the other parameters we expose here for people to customize. So the first one, like a game star trigger. So now we are setting like screen tab and a video record, which means like when you tap the screen, it will trigger this game start. Also, if you start the, if you like uh, press the, the recording button, it will also trigger this game start. And uh, like uh, this one, like a cup lift height, this one is control like uh, when they up or they had lift, how high you want it to be. So I can make it extremely high. You see the differences there, right? And also this is the lift speed. The larger number you have, it will like a lift pretty fast. So if I say like 10, and when I click it, you see it lift pretty fast and you barely like a notice the, that like a lift motion there. You can change it back to four. And also like a cup shuffle speed. This is controlling the uh, shuffle speed of the movement. And uh, if you increase the number, so which means the shuffle movement will be faster. So for example, if I also get six to the shuffle speed, you see it's just moving so fast. I can't really tell which one really hide that object there or build the game. So I'm trying to tweak this parameter and uh, adjust the um, difficulty of your game there. And for the cup movement range, actually this one is controlling like when the uh, cup or the head is moving on the table distance or like range when it's moving. So for example, if I make it extremely small too, so it's kind of like a go the straight way when they uh, exchange the position. Let's see. So you see, you can't really tell the movement is pretty like a, like a line when they switch the position. But if you do like extremely big, let's take a look. It should be kind of a circle there. So this is the variable to control that. And the next is about number of moves. So it's about uh, shuffle times actually. So if you just uh, do like one time, so it will just switch the, uh, choose two random cups and shuffle the position just one time. But if you increase the number like 10, so it will do 10 times like a random shuffle animation there. And uh, for the rounds, so this one I wanted to explain more about that. Let's change it back to three. For the rounds, that means how many rounds you need to, to win before you finally win the game. So for example, if we set the one at a one, which means you only need to guess one time and you win the game. But if you set a three, so which means you need to guess three times. And if you find the right answer for all the three times, you will win the game. So let's try that. So first time is hidden here. I think it's still, yeah, this is the first time. Okay, the second time, I'm still right. Third time, I'm also finding the right answer and I finally got the win. So you see, actually the game is increased uh, to like three rounds to achieve the uh, final success there. So that is the number to control and uh, increase the levels of your game. So I think that's uh, all of this uh, template knowledge here. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, let me know if you have further questions. Thanks. Bye. Yeah.